Look up. Grand rising. I don't know, but today feel kind of different. Today feel special, you know. I woke up with a lot on my mind, but it all makes sense. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Shalom, Yeshua's peculiar treasure, shalom. So I hope everybody's being blessed, but as I tell you, every day's a blessing. Why you see me and I see you, and that is a blessing. Elohim has blessed us with another day to work in that purpose and work out that assignment, as I tell you every day. If you don't know what your purpose is, if you don't know what your assignment is, pray, read, study fast, get into that word, and ask Elohim to reveal to you what he needs to reveal to you, because what he has for you is for you. Can nobody give that to you, and can nobody take that away from you? So... As I tell you, give your girl a like, share, comment, subscribe. But all in all, we got to spread the gospel, give it away, and spread it. Give it to the next person so they can have the same glory that you get from reading these words. These words should pop off of you because they are life. They are our daily bread, our provision that the Lord has given us every day. Keep a word on your heart daily, daily. Be thankful. I'm going to give you this real quick. Peace be with you, dear brother and sister. And may Elohim, the father of Ash, Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, give you love with faithfulness. May Elohim's grace be eternal upon all who loves our Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Hallelujah. So, coming at you with our daily bread today. I actually, I was a little, I was actually just minding my business. Nah, <laughs> I'm always minding my business, but... It is so crazy, you guys. Like, every time I get on to trying to record, before I even record, it's very quiet in this building. Very quiet. But I kid you not, every time as soon as I get on to getting reading and wanting to go and share the word, it's like the most oddest distractions start coming around. Like, you hear constant doors shutting you hear constant distract like I feel like that is the work and I know it is the work of the enemy because he's trying to distract me he does not want me to get the word out that I need he wants me to just be like oh okay I can't do it so I'm like you know what enemy I rebuke you I'm still going to get this word out and I'm still going to share spread it and give it away but we are in Philemon's I'm gonna start at chapter one well, it's only one but uh start at verse three May Elohim, our Father, and Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, give you grace and peace. Then I'm at 25. May grace of Adonai, Yeshua HaMashiach, be with your spirit. Yes, Lord. And I drop to Proverbs 2, 6, and it reads, For Adonai grants wisdom from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. And I'm at Colossians 4, 5 through 6. Live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity let your uh, conversation be gracious and attracting so that you will have the right response for everyone then i'm at proverbs 2 12 and it reads wisdom will save you from from evil people from those whose words are twisted twisted and wicked so those are the word those are the ones that i was kind of that the Ruh HaKadosh led me to. So as I was flipping my book, about to write it down, um, it was crazy. So Ephesians 4, 19, just kind of jumped off at me on my page, just because you know my page is all color-coded, everybody, but it jumped off at me and it read, they have no sense of shame. They live for lustful pleasures and eagerly practice every kind of impurity. If that's not what the world is right now, if that's not what's going on right now, then I don't know what and how to tell you. But we gotta be, we gotta be, we gotta be wise as serpents, but sweet as doves. We have to be, we have to be prayed up, stayed in our word and reading and understanding, knowing that using every tactic he can to get the non-believers to be on his team and get the believers to be shooken up, scared and running. But no, we know, as it says here in the word. That the spirit is within us. The Ruh HaKadosh is in us. Yeshua HaMashiach has allowed us to be able to be in touch with him in tune. That's why we have to be prayed up. We have to be in our word daily, daily. For the word is knowledge. The knowledge, word is the knowledge, understanding. And if you ask for understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and clarity, and revelation on, on the words, he will give you what you need. 
every day. So when we have those type of, I've, I've gotten it. I've gotten, um, when I first started here at this job, everybody was always asking me odd questions because I would sit off to myself. I would get to reading, writing, studying, getting to the word. I would read King James and New Living Testament and seeing and then getting to understand the definitions of different words and stuff and why I might read differently to me. And I would get, are you Jehovah's Witness? Are you Seven Day Witness? Are you this? Are you that? Well, do you believe in this? Well, if you believe in this, then that means you have to believe in that. And I'm like, that's confusion. And that's just, I just had to learn at that time. I'm like, I was at my baby stages, but I'm looking like, the Lord is not the author of confusion. I know what he placed in my heart. I know what he has me doing. You're not going to sidetrack me. If that's your belief, that's your belief. I don't judge anybody for what they believe. I just know that the word is life and the life is word and that Yeshua HaMashiach is our salvation. There is no other way. There is no other portals. There are no other ways to get to heaven or get to our Father El, um, Elohim is but to know and have belief that uh, Yeshua HaMashiach died for our sins. He died for our sins. So when I go and have certain conversations and I, I stop having conversations with a lot of people because I'm like, you're not going to confuse me. You're not about to, so I have less friends. I have less people around me because I'm like, you're not going to muddy up the waters. I know what I read. I know what I read. I know what I study on a daily basis. And what you're talking is confusion. What you're trying to do is muddy up my water. But I will not allow that because the Lord had told me, he told me right there in the Colossians 4 that I'm like, we have the right response. If we ask for the wisdom, if we stay reading, staying understanding, asking God to reveal to us what we need to understand in this scripture right here, he will give it to you. And then we will have the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding to have a, a simple conversation. It says an attractive conversation, a right response to anyone and everyone. So when people ask me certain things, I'm looking like, no, I'm not a Christian, but I do study the Hebrew roots. I do understand that it throws people off because there's so many different religions. But I tell you right now, let me just keep it clear, keep it simple for you so your brain does not go, <sighs> I'm a believer. At the end of the day, I'm a believer of Yeshua HaMashiach, that Elohim is our salvation, that the, that the path to him is very narrow. When I see that everybody else is doing that, and the, the broad path, when people are doing everything, that following trends and stuff, that is the broader path to destruction. I know that there is a narrow path to Yeshua HaMashiach, to Elohim, and that's the path I'm willing to take, and that's the path I am willing to go, for I know there's prosecution for it. They mocked Yeshua HaMashiach, so why would they mock me, or why would they put me outcast? But look, the Lord told me that I'm a peculiar treasure. We are his peculiar treasures. We are the ones that are going to take, it's going to take the prosecution. We're going to be the ones that's going to step out of the norm, which is our norm, but to them it's unnormal. And we're going to give Yeshua HaMashiach all the praise and all the glory, all the honor for what he has done for us. He has washed us clean, clean as snow. So when we are walking in this in the Torah, we are made anew. We are made new creatures. So we do not do the same things that the world is doing. We do not walk in the same sinful lifestyle that we were doing. So you know me, I like to keep it short, keep it simple. But this is about Elohim. It's giving you our daily bread that just what we need just to keep us going during out the week you know stay stay persistent towards the issue how much she is stay oh by stay in him for he will give you what you need daily he sustains you daily so we don't think about yesterday and we don't think about tomorrow we think about today today is today and what the lord has you doing today today so ask the lord to reveal to you what he needs you to be doing for his kingdom may his work be here on earth keep his name holy so just that just a quick little brand i'm gonna just give you that but you know as i tell you use it apply it ask yeshua hamashiach how you can apply and use this to your daily use of your daily life so use this apply this and i definitely want you to be blessed Let's find inner peace and not a troubled heart. It's like a dopamine release when I'm speaking my part. We steady feeding for direction in the land of the lost. Requests made to God, our prayers are sealed.